In this lesson, we will focus on the vertical projectile motion. A vertical projectile motion is the the object is or the drop. So, vertically, remember in this direction. So, for a vertical projectile motion, the only force that is taking place is the force of gravity. We will the objects that are under the influence of force of gravity, which is a free fall. So, at all level, are some important scenarios where your object is being dropped or is being thrown. So, at level, a, the scenario number one. So, our first scenario are nearly a situation where or maybe or drop or something like a ball or a tennis. So, because this ball is dropped, I want to draw a little fast. Then, initial velocity. Is going to be zero because no one is throwing the ball you know what so the initial velocity is zero but what if ofosha this ball so if why fosha probably the initial velocity so make sure or understand that this situation the ball is dropped the initial velocity is zero but really, the, the ball is thrown, so probably the initial velocity. Our second scenario is a situation where we are something and then we will catch up at the same height. So, because we are let's say we are this tennis ball remember or it's not dropped so because it's not dropped but thrown this means globally the initial velocity because this ball you will move as we catch up as more this ball you stop a bit at the maximum height because really this means you stop a bit Rebel or rise top this ball. It will be a good forever and ever. So, but because it will not be a fast, this means you stop a bill and then it will not be a fast. So, the velocity at the maximum height is zero because you stop. Remember, when object comes to rest, this means the final velocity is zero. So, this situation, that's one because you stop at this height before it is fast. Make sure you all understand this situation. And then another thing, because this ball will totally catch up again at the same height, the final velocity, you only can this one. But remember, this ball and then it will be fast. And then it will now are the opposite direction. So that is why a negative. Let's say the initial velocity is 5 meters per second. So this means the final velocity is negative 5 meters per second. So this means the final velocity is And then another thing that is very important to worry, the time it takes to go up, like the time it takes to come down. This tennis ball, it really more initial, it really more from the initial velocity. Five seconds. This means it will be at the same time here it will be fast. It will be fast at the time here five seconds. So the time it takes to go up, like only the time it takes to come down. So this information we can show here we could see shakao fella yon. And then more than a situation we lori a person will a tennis ball kwa godi. 
but we are ale above the ground. So let's say this is a building, and then this is a ground. So this means this person will achela this tennis ball ale above the ground, and then this tennis ball, if it's on the ground, high cage at this side. So because this ball high cage at this height, this means the initial velocity is the final velocity. So, rale the initial velocity. So, let's say if the initial velocity is 5, final velocity is 5 because high catcher at the same height. So, rale a certain final velocity. Yeah, this ball is on the ground. Another thing you will we will do But when you calculate the displacement, so a displacement remember already the shortest distance from start to finish initially this ball so at this height and then eagodim until if it of us so this means ranyaga this height height because displacement get the shortest distance from start to finish so key information you change with save and then because this ball e gonno fitla mo fase initially e ya go dim so re tlo chale bo ya mo fase e ra hore e stopile pele so mo ke the velocity is zero the velocity at the maximum height is zero so make sure you you understand everything here More a situation whereby a hot air balloon yago di muka ten meters per second, and then kamagara on ali mode. So that person o droba an object, and then remember or grille every time when the object is dropped, the initial velocity is zero, but for this situation it doesn't apply. Let's understand why. If this object is dropped. Remember that this object is a 10 meters per second. Leon. The initial velocity here yeah, this object it will wire this one. This is because according to Newton's first law, an object at rest will remain at rest. An object in motion will continue in a state of motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force this means before this object it according to newton's first law and then you stop at some certain height because of gravity so this means the unbalanced force in this case is the gravity so every time that this object is 20 meters per second this means this dropped object the initial velocity is also at that speed and then this is our displacement so make sure every time we interpret your question very well and then the final velocity you can see like the initial velocity because now this object if it's on the ground it's not like if it's at this same height and so that's it for this example.